Hi there and welcome. This video covers the skill of multiplication. Uh, I will start by saying, and I'm going to say it again in my video, learning your times tables is a really valuable skill. This is one of four videos on the four rules, the subtraction, addition, the multiplication and the division. And of course, you can find videos on the other three on my channel. So please do hit the subscribe button. In a world where everybody carries a calculator on their mobile phone, this is always the most unpopular message. But it really is important that you have a go at learning your times tables. There are going to be times, particularly in an exam situation, where you do not have your calculator available and you have to do mental arithmetic. If you don't know your times tables, this will take you considerably longer time. So knowing that seven times eight is 56 and that four times nine is 36 helps you simply with confidence and with speed. So give it a go. There aren't as many of them as you might think. Right, let's have a look at a couple of multiplication sums. Let's start with a basic one then, 32 times 4. So we are multiplying the whole of 32 by 4, but we do it a step at a time to avoid errors. And the method here is that we are going to multiply each of the numbers on the top row by 4. And we are going to start on the right hand side and work our way across. So the first sum we do is 4 times 2 and we always put the answer immediately under the number that we are multiplying by so 4 times 2 the 8 goes under the 4 once we've done 4 times 2 we do 4 times 3 and that is 12 and as there are no other numbers here we can simply write that in so 32 times 4 is 128 here's a second example where it gets a little bit more complicated we have 874 times 5. Again, one step at a time. So the first thing we're going to do is 5 times 4. We start, don't forget, on the right hand side here. 5 times 4 is 20. Now in this case, we can't put the whole 20 in the column. So we put in the 0 and we move the 2 onto the next column to be added on to the next line. So what is the next line? Well, it's now 5 times 7. So 5 times 7 is 35, but we have to add that 2 on. So 35 plus 2 is 37. So again, the 7 goes there, but the 3 has to go on to the next column. We then have 5 times 8, which is 40. Add the 3 that we've carried on. That makes 43. The 3 go down there, and because there's nothing else to do, the 4 can just sit on the end. So we've had to carry the number, very similar to the way that we do it in addition. Now let's have a look at a situation where we are multiplying by a two-digit number. Obviously we are not expected to know our 35 times table. We cannot multiply each of these by 35. Therefore, again, we're going to break it down into parts. So sticking to our rule of starting on the right and moving towards the left, the first thing we are going to do here is to multiply the top row by the 5. For the time being, we are going to forget the 3 altogether and multiply by the 5. Once we have done that, we will then multiply by the 3, the 30. And once we have two sets of answers, we will add those together to get our answer. So let's make a start with the 5. We are going to say 5 times 8 is 40. So that has to have a naught down there. And the 4 we are going to have to add on to the next one. 7 times 5 is the next one we would do. That's 35. Don't forget we have to add the 4 on. So that becomes 39. So the 9 goes there and we move the 3 into the next column. We then go 5 times 4, that is 20, add the 3, 23. So we did 5 times 8, then 5 times 7, then 5 times 4, and we carried on any digits that we needed to. 
Now, we have multiplied the top row by the 5. From now on, we can forget the 5 because we are moving on to the 3. So, we start again with 3 times 8. Now, the important thing to remember, I mentioned it earlier, that when we are starting this, the first answer has to go immediately below the 3 that we are multiplying with. So, 3 times 8 is 24. The 4 has to go under the 3. Very important. And then we are going to carry the 2 on to the next column. That's 3 times 8. We're now going to do 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Add the 2 that we've carried is 23. The 3 goes in there. We carry the 2. 4 times 3 is next. 4 times 3 is 12. Add the 2 that we've carried is 14. The 4 goes there. We've run out of numbers, so we put the 1 on there. You can, if you wish, put a zero in here because, of course, there is nothing there. We are then looking at two rows. We now have two rows of numbers. This top row is 478, which we multiplied by 5. The bottom row is the 478 that we multiplied by the 30. So if we add them together, we will get our total. So now we have an addition. 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 4 is 13, so once again we are writing the 3 and carrying the 1. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus the 1 is 7. Then we have 4 plus 2 is 6, and the 1 plus nothing is 1. And there's our total. A little bit complicated, but you have to take it step by step. And, as with many things, the only way to become great at this is practice. What I would suggest you do is write some sums out for yourself and try them out. And, of course, you can always check your answer with your calculator. And that's multiplication. Practice is always a great thing, so please do go try some for yourselves. And don't forget, have a look at some of the other videos you might find useful on my channel. Thank you.